Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our introductory presentation to open source um, robot audition software called HARC. This project has been a collaboration between Honda Research Institute Japan, Tokyo Institute of Technology, and Kyoto University. Headset microphones are very popular in the field of robotics because they are very robust against any type of noise coming from the surrounding. Uh, however, as you all know, robots must be constantly interacting with the environment by using their own sensors. Therefore, back in 2000, um, Professor Nakadai proposed uh, to use robot embedded microphones and started the robot audition project. Um, in order to be able to replace the headset microphones with these robot embedded microphones, however, noise robustness must be reassured. Furthermore, the speech of multiple speakers and the uh, sounds of multiple objects in the environment must be um, localized, separated, and recognized in order to achieve a complete auditory scene analysis. Well, to accomplish all these goals, uh, an open source robot audition software called HARC is introduced. Um, if you wonder, HARC means listen in medieval English, but in the context of today's presentations, uh, presentation, um, HARC stands for HRIJP Audition for Robots with Kyoto University. Uh, the ultimate target of HARC project is uh, to foster collaboration between various research uh, groups all over the world and contribute to robotics community by improving the perceptual or more specifically auditory uh, capabilities of the robots. Therefore, HARC is open source and it is absolutely free for research purposes. We released the first version of HARC back in 2008 and since then we have organized uh, numerous tutorials in Japan, Korea and France. The latest major revision of HARC was released in November. It includes more than 50 modules for audio processing and it operates in Linux. In contrary to conventional uh, single channel automatic speech uh, recognizers, uh, HARC provides solutions for microphone arrays because of their uh, ability or because they can help us in, um, in tackling with uh, different types of noise uh, that can be present in the environment. So this is a typical uh, robot audition framework that is supported by HARC. Um, usually the uh, processing chain starts with localization modules the estimated positions are used to separate speech signals and later on uh, the uh, acoustic features are extracted and speech is recognized consequently. Finally, the output of the whole system can be sent to dialogue management tools. The infrastructure of HARC is based on Flow Designer, which provides a graphical user interface based programming environment. It is uh, appropriate for frame based processing such as image, video, or audio processing. HARC can be easily customized to meet the demands or constraints or conditions of your robotic system. Another strength of HARC is that it can support many type of uh, multi-channel sound hardware, such as given here. And it doesn't pose any constraints about the layout and the number of microphones. Um, as you all know, robots are intended to be deployed to realistic environments. Therefore, uh, HARC provides advanced signal processing technologies that take the dynamic environments into consideration. So, uh, HARC is um, really user-friendly. It takes only little effort or time to install it. You can simply use conventional package management tools. Um, detailed documentation, including instructions, tutorials, or cookbooks, can be found in the web in both Japanese and English languages. Uh, last but not least, HARC can be also easily integrated with your existing projects that operate in, the, in, in other uh, robot middleware such as ROS or OpenRTM. And uh, moreover, HARC has support for Marcias, which is an analysis and synthesis uh, tool for music research and also binaural uh, sound localization. 
And one hint that I can give you is we plan to release a Windows version of Arc possibly within this year. Okay, it's time for some action now. Um, I'm gonna play some uh, demonstration videos that we recorded using Hark in a real robot environment. So here in this scenario, the robot has to decide on the winner of a rock, paper, scissors game played by three speakers. Um, it is noteworthy to mention that the uh, position of these speakers are, oh, whoa, 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 I forgot to connect these, I'm so sorry. Uh, the position of the speakers are not given in advance and the robot has to estimate it by itself. Um. So on the <laughs> on the lower bottom corner you see uh, so the, in the left corner you see the results of sound source localization. So the robot successfully managed to recognize the utterances of all three speakers and decided the correct winner. Uh, this present so in this scenario the robot has to handle the meal order of four customers that again speak simultaneously. <laughs> well, this technology costs a little, right? <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. So in the next demonstration, uh, so we, we recorded this demonstration uh, during a one week visit to Willow Garage and um, so actually um, the, it, 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 is, um, it took just a little effort to uh, give a completely arbitrary new robot hearing capabilities. So um, please note that this room is a big conference room which is highly reverberant and the speakers are also not restricted to being flesh and bones. This time we have a second uh, textile robot among the speakers. I'm going to play the mixture of all the speech signals and then uh, it separates its versions one by one. We went over to, we went over to, um, what's it, Rudy. Alright, so tell me more about this robot. Tell me how you, all the programming behind it and... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and so on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> let me continue. I don't have much time. So... How, how many microphones are there? Eight microphones. Where are the positions? Sorry, the position uh, on the top of the head. So, I, circular. yeah, circular configuration. Um, Hark also gives you the opportunity to visualize the auditory scenes. Um, so, you can use this tool to analyze uh, auditory scenes, archive sounds, or reconstruct them, as well as play, replay, or filter uh, some sound events. So, here is its demonstration again. So this is a typical conversation conducted by two speakers uh, that are present in the same room with the microphone array and the speakers can be moving or stationary. Let me skip a little bit and I want to show you some function of this tool. Okay, um, so basically this tool is based on the Schneiderman's mantra and uh, here you can see the um, ID and the location of the speakers in both time and the space domains. Um, so you can fast forward the data. Um, you can use uh, the automatic speech recognition results in the karaoke format as you see here in this panel. Um, you can select certain sound events and play only these events. And then you can skip by using this timeline and you can skip by using the text.
Yeah, the final feature that I want to show you is that um, you can define spatial constraints. That means you can filter uh, certain sound sources of interest that are coming from certain directions, uh, or you can filter out in the same manner uh, the disturbing okay. sound sources. Okay. Um, so the current robot audition system makes the assumption that the inputs of the system uh, um, are considered as speech signals. Uh, therefore, the next step of HARC uh, would be the pursuit of achieving a complete auditory scene analysis uh, in complex environments. So here uh, you see in this demonstration that the robot will uh, recognize or the, the robot will localize uh, sounds of, uh, sound sources of interest and eliminate the sound sources of, uh, that are disturbing and then identify the sounds. So on the left hand side of the robot there is a man, on the right hand side a clock and a speaker in the front direction that plays music signals. So blue LED indicate that it detected um, a music signal and this green signal indicates it detected environmental sounds and this red uh, indicates that uh, a human voice is detected. To sum it up, um, so our open source robot audition software called HARC can be used to enhance your robot with highly noise robust real-time system using microphone array processing. It is based on GUI uh, programming and it can be easily customized based on your needs of your, uh, or based on the needs of your robotic system. And it comes with a rich documentation. So we plan to release the next version in March, hopefully, uh, which will include also the Windows version and some other nice properties. <coughs> okay, I've done my part of introducing Hark to you. So now it's your turn to go home and uh, download it and enhance your robot with this cool functions uh, because you need a robust and additional audio modality and we need you in our ever-growing community. Thank you very much.